Stevie and assured decisive victory and an important three points. Must be delighted with that. Delighted. Uh, it's it keeps the momentum going. It keeps the run that we're on going. Do you know if you take the you take the, the Peterhead game and the Wraith Rovers game, that's us five unbeaten. Do you know one four of those, those five. So momentum in football both ways. Do you know last last season we had a we had a difficult time trying to get that momentum going, but do you know we've got it going just now. But we ain't getting carried away, Sean. We ain't getting carried away. I've said that to the press. I, I, I'm delighted with the players today. I thought they were excellent. I thought they thoroughly deserved it. I thought defensively were really good. The most pleasing thing for me is another clean sheet because that's a number of clean sheets in recent games. But we just keep working hard. The boys will enjoy it between now and Tuesday. Then get our music on. You can hear it in the background there. But then we'll come in on Tuesday night and we'll work like hell to know between Tuesday, Thursday, first day, and Spain Saturday. And it sounds like an obvious question, but the changes you've made to the to the pitch and the whole atmosphere really around the home stadium is that to make it difficult for teams to come here? I'd imagine the answer. Sean. As, as the answer is yes, Sean. I mean that is. Aaron Linus is, is one of those factors why I brought the pitch in, but I just think last year we analysed everything. I thought we were too easy to play between lines against us, you know, in terms of distances and, and, and teams played against us in pockets that were too big. And I think the pitch has, has helped us and the players that we've signed. It's helped us, you know, particularly defensively, make sure that we're closer to, to, to those pockets and they're not as big and, and we can go and defend a, a wee bit more astutely. So, well, there's a number of reasons that we brought it in, but listen, it's three games, it's uh, it's pleasing where we are, it's pleasing in the, in the run of form we're on, I, but the boys are working really, really hard, you know, and, and I thought fitness levels today as well were really, really good. Because when you play in this shape that we're asking them to play in, particularly the seven, the wide, the wide right, the wide left, and your two central midfield players ahead of Ryan Blair need to really, in that transition, be it in real intensity to get there. And I thought Joe McKee, Finley, Orsay, Love it before you know off in Callum, do you know when he came on, did that very, very well and that transition from defence to attack. So not as pleasing and obviously, do you know, it's another two goals for for our number nine and he's uh, he's when strikers are scoring goals they're, they're happy on they ever been. And there was a there was a familiar face at the end there that came on Trellis Top twenty five. Won't we'll mention his name, everyone knows who it is. What's the plans? The plans are simple, it's not a popularity contest, I know he's got a great report and I can hear that. I, I'm do you know I will sign and I will make the decision based on is that right for our squad in terms of where our squad is just now, is it the right fit, is it that different one that we're looking for, you can see he's in the best shape I think he's ever been, he's working really hard and he's worked hard over the last three, four weeks for our sports scientists, I'm getting the numbers and the numbers are good in terms of what he's doing, in terms of his stats, so listen, it's, I said that to him, it's, it's, not a, it's not a popularity contest for John, I'm, I'm glad he's got great rapport with the fans. But if we make this happen, then we'll make it happen for the right reasons because we believe it's right for the squad that we've got at our disposal. This and is that something different? And that's it. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.